Hello everyone, welcome again. In this lecture, we are discussing about structure of pollen grain. What is pollen grain and its detailed structure and various layers of pollen grain we will see in this lecture. Now, pollen grain is also known as microspore, which is a haploid structure and very small in size. Pollen grain is also known as male gametophyte and it is considered as immature male gametophyte. What is gametophyte? Gametophyte is the structure which bears gummy. So pollen grains bears male gummies though so that's why it is known as male gametophyte. Let's see the various structures of pollen grain. Pollen grain is also known as microspore. It is haploid and it is very small that it ranges from 25 micrometer to 50 micrometer. So pollen grain is basically made up of two layers that is known as exine and indine. Outer layer is known as exine. The outer layer of pollen grain is very hard and tough and very much ornamented which is known as exine. And inner one is indine which is soft and elastic in nature. The outer layer of pollen grain that is exine is made up of cupin and sporopollen. Exine is made up of cutin and sporopollenin. The sporopollenin is a resistant material in biological world and it cannot be degraded by biomolecules like enzymes, viruses, bacteria and fungi. Pollen grain ki jo outer layer hai, jise hum exine kehte hai, us wo kisse bani hoti hai? Sporopollenin se bani hoti hai. And that sporopollenin is the most resistant material in the biological world and jise koi virus, bacteria ya fir fungi ya fir enzymes degrade nahi kar sakte, iska destruction nahi ho sakta. No destruction of pollen grain due to the presence of this sporopollenin. Now, next layer is intine, which is made up of pectocellulose. Here, pecto stands for pectin, and here, cellulose. So, intine is made up of pectocellulose, and it is soft and elastic. -y. Nature. Suppose this is pollen grain. Mostly pollen grains are circular, but size and shape varies from plants to plants. So pollen grain is having two layer. Outer layer is known as exine, and inner layer is known as intine. This exine is made up of sporopollenin that we studied that it is very resistant and cannot be degraded. Intine is made up of pectocellulose. Let's see the detailed structure of pollen grain. That means it is made up of two words 
Sporo means it is related to pollen grain. And derma means layers. So in this part, we are looking for various layers of pollen grain. And this microspore proper is given top letter. So this sporoderm is classified into two layers. Outer one is exine and inner one is intine. This exine is consist of or made up of sporopolenin and hence that sporopolenin is very resistant, resistive in nature. That's why this exine is protective in function. This exine is again divided into two layers. And 
distinctive material food layer and end enzyme will comprise enzyme so this is the various layers of enzyme and below this enzyme enzyme is present so this is the layers of pollen grain various layers of pollen grain I repeat. If suppose this is the structure of pollen grain, having two layers, outer layer is enzyme, inner layer is enzyme. Outer one is enzyme. That enzyme is made up of sporopollen, and that enzyme is again divided into two layers, end enzyme and end enzyme. If we see. With the structure of this enzyme, you will find this. So that enzyme is consists of, or it is further divided into sub layers that is tectum, baculum, and foot layer. This will this sorry, sorry. This will constitute tectum, baculum, and foot layer will constitute end enzyme. And below that end enzyme, end enzyme is present. And this will comprise of, and it will form enzyme. And below that enzyme, the last layer, that is inner layer, which is known as enzyme, is present. So this is the various layers of pollen grain. I hope you are getting. Now we will see the next part of pollen grain. That is microspore proper. This microspore proper is again divided into two part, or it is constituted of two part. That is vegetative cell, vegetative cell, and second is generative cell. Vegetative cell is also known as tube cell. Suppose this is the structure of pollen grain. This my this is outer layer enzyme that we have seen, and this is inner layer enzyme. This is the structure is known as microspore proper, which constitutes of two cell, that is vegetative cell and generative cell. Here, vegetative cell it consists of it consists of small nucleus. And larger cytoplasm. See, we are looking for the microspore proper. This microspore proper consists of two cells. That is, one is vegetative cell, and another is generative cell. Generative क्यों कह रहे हैं हम? क्योंकि ये जनरेट करेगा या फिर ये से हेल्प करेगा फॉर द प्रोडक्शन और रिजनरेशन ऑफ न्यू प्लांट इसीलिए हम इसे कहते हैं जनरेटिव सेल सो दिस जनरेटिव सेल इज है लार्जर न्यूक्लियस एंड स्मॉलर साइटोप्लाजम एंड दिस ट्यूब सेल या और वेजिटेटिव सेल कंसिस्ट ऑफ smaller nucleus compared to that cytoplasm so here in case of vegetative cell which is also known as tube cell it consists of larger cytoplasm and small nucleus this vegetative cell is also known as tube cell why because it produces pollen tube so this is about vegetative cell it will degenerate further in further process of development and generative cell will give rise to 
नेक्स्ट प्लांट या फिर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन को ये जनरेट करेगा इसलिए इसको कहते हैं हम जनरेटिव सेल तो जनरेटिव सेल में न्यूक्लियस कैसा रहेगा लार्जर रहेगा एंड साइकोप्लाज्म कैसा रहेगा स्मॉलर रहेगा स्मॉलर साइकोप्लाज्म एंड दिस टू कंसिस्ट और कंप्राइजेस माइक्रोस्पोर प्रॉपर तो माइक्रोस्पोर प्रॉपर क्या है ये दो टाइप के सेल से बना है वेजिटेटिव सेल जिसको हम कहते हैं ट्यूब सेल एंड दूसरा है जनरेटिव सेल सो दिस वेजिटेटिव सेल एंड जनरेटिव सेल विल फॉर्म माइक्रोस्पोर प्रॉपर एंड दिस वेजिटेटिव सेल इज आल्सो नोन एज ट्यूब सेल व्हाई बिकॉज इट प्रोड्यूसेस पोलन ट्यूब एंड इन फर्दर डेवलपमेंट दिस वेजिटेटिव सेल विल डीजेनरेट and this generative cell will go further this generative cell why we call it generative cell because it generate or help to generate new plants and new progeny so in this lecture we have seen the detailed structure of pollen grain i hope you have understood we will see the next topic in the next lecture thanks for learning